Hello everyone, my name is Lieutenant Frank Garcia with the Judson ISD Police Department. Here at Judson ISD, the safety and security of our students and staff are top priority. That is why we are working on improving our safety protocols. If an emergency happens at school, everyone, including staff, students, parents, and local law enforcement need to be on the same page and understand the SRP language so everyone knows what to do in emergency situations. There are five actions included in the standard response protocol. Hold, secure, lockdown, evacuate, and shelter. Let's take a closer look at each one. When a school needs to go on a hold, it is because something is happening inside the building that requires the hallways to be clear. Anyone outside will remain outside. Examples could be a large spill that needs to be cleaned up, a fight in the hallway, or a medical emergency. Students will stay in their locked classrooms and continue business as usual. During a hold, students must stay in their classroom, even if the bell rings. Once the release statement is made over the intercom, students may be released and continue with their day, possibly on a modified schedule. If a secure is activated, this means that there is a threat or hazard outside of the building. The school building itself serves as a layer of protection. Examples could be anything from a police chase in the neighborhood to an unknown suspicious person on the property or a dangerous animal near the building. Once a secure is called, students will go into the building and secure themselves in a the classroom and continue their day as usual. During a secure, nobody will be allowed in or out of the building. A secure is over once a release statement is made. A lockdown is called for serious situations when the threat is inside the building. A lockdown requires students to move to a secure location inside of a classroom or other securable area. Classroom doors should be locked with the lights off and students should be out of sight and quiet. Students and staff need to silence and dim the light on their cell phones during a lockdown. To reduce stress, it may be helpful for teachers to let a few students at a time send periodic texts to tell their parents they are okay. It is important to remember that the only individuals that can release a lockdown are law enforcement officers. Judson Police, I'm coming in. I'm gonna kick your lights on for you, okay? Once they have ensured that there is no longer a safety threat, they will unlock clear and release each classroom individually. This will take time. Messages and updates about a lockdown situation will be sent through text and email from the district office. It is important to make sure you update your contact information with your school, especially if students need to be picked up from a different location or a designated reunification site. Schools practice evacuation drills on a regular basis. The most common drill that is practiced is a fire drill. If an evacuate is called, students will move from one location to another for safety reasons. Once students leave the classroom or go to their assigned location, the teacher will take roll using their rosters that are in the red emergency folder. It is important for students to follow specific instruction given by staff or first responders. Messages and updates will be sent through text and email from the district office if an evacuate is called. A shelter would be activated because of a weather hazard or a hazmat type hazard. Students practice shelter drills throughout the year to get used to what to do if there are situations like a tornado, earthquake, or a gas leak. If a shelter is called, students would use the appropriate safety strategy for the emergency situation that is happening. Messages and updates will be sent through text and email from the district office. If a shelter is called, students would use the appropriate safety strategy for the emergency situation that is happening. Messages and updates will be sent through text and email from the district office if a shelter situation is taking place. It is important to make sure you update your contact information with your school, especially if students need to be picked up from a different location or a designated reunification site. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the standard response protocols at Judson ISD. Please visit our website for more information.